Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you guys an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you stayed for a while, grabbed a snack and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. I am on the goal of reaching hopefully 1000 subscribers before the end of 2021 and I would love it if you could help me out in achieving that goal and if you're a returning viewer thank you so much for coming back I appreciate you guys more than you know today's video is a very important video because we are going to be reviewing the new Pat McGrath divine blush collection I got the quad I got highlighter I got two blushes i got the lipstick i got the lip balm that i will be testing out for you guys and letting you know what my thoughts are and if i think it is worth your money if that sounds like something you would like to see then just go ahead and keep on watching all right guys here is the eyeshadow palette it has the same outside packaging opens up the same this one has the iconic like little logos it doesn't say pat mcgrath like the blushes do and this one actually opens up like the magnet not like the blushes which i dislike a lot there is the eyeshadow palette there is the back it has an 18 month shelf life and it is made in Italy. Okay, here are the four swatches. This is Moonlight Liaison. This is like her little satin formula that she has. This is Rose Fire Nectar right here. This apparently is a new formula according to the reviews that I have seen recently. This is her iconic soft matte formula and this is After Dusk and this is Twilight Bronze and this is like her typical little glitter formula that she usually has. So this quad is definitely special since it does feature four different formulas in this little quad. All right, so this palette will run you for $58. So it's up to you. Whether Whether you think it's worth it or not um this eyeshadow here which is the new formula the rose fire nectar did feel a little flaky i probably should have done my eyes first but it's okay why don't we go ahead and get started in using this bad boy so i'll bring you guys in closer all right guys i did prime my eyes i unfortunately forgot my eye primer so i used concealer and then set it with some powder so yeah <laughs> I'm going to start with the matte shade in the palette, this one, and it is After Dusk. I'm using a Sigma E45, that's what the brush looks like, and I think I'm going to do a halo eye. So I am going to build this up on the outer corner and the inner corner. Don't worry, I am going to blend out the edges since this is the only matte. I have to use the shade to uh, put it on my crease and just kind of deepen up things at the edge. This shadow is blending beautifully and it is very pigmented, FYI. Okay, now I'm going to jump into this shade, which is Twilight Bronze. I'm using a Packer brush. This is the Sigma E57. I'm going to use it dry and just see how it performs. I should probably use my fingers, but I really want to see how it works with a brush. Um, and it's actually working pretty decent. As you can see, that first shade, I used it as a lighter version of it on my crease and then I used it to deepen up the corners since it's the only matte shade in here and I don't think any of the other shimmers will work for the inner and outer quarter but so far this is looking pretty good and I did do the same on the lower lash line this shadow definitely is flaky with the brush but I'm making it work all right, so I really love how that looks. I'm going to take it up just a tiny notch and I'm actually going to use that new formula, which is the Rose Fire Nectar right here. I am going to go in with my finger. I'm excited. It's beautiful. I'm only going to use this on the top. I'm not going to put it on my lower lash line. I am definitely getting a lot of fallout. A lot. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to go into the fourth shade. This one right here, and that is Moonlight Liaison. I am going to use this in the inner corner, and this is the Silky Satin 
formula that she has in her palettes. Um, I just wanted to use all four shades. You don't have to, honestly. I lost that second shade at the top, which is fine. I just really wanted to feel the formula and see how it performed. So you don't have to use all four. Um, on a normal day look, I would probably choose one or the other. I wouldn't use both. I'm also going to use this shade to highlight my brow bone once I get my eyebrows on. All right, guys, and this is the final eye look with the Venus in Fleur Deluxe Quad. Alright guys, so the next thing I am going to demo is the blushes. I went ahead and tried both of them on bare face just so you can see each individual blush on my face. I love watching swatches of blushes. It can look different with, you know, different skin tones and I didn't just want to try one out today or have one on one side and one on the other. I just, I really wanted to show you what they looked like in the face as a whole and since I only got two, it wasn't like too much trouble. So the first shade we're going to start with is Nude Venus and as you can see, the packaging is beautiful. It's like that purple packaging. I'll probably only be keeping the one for a quad, but yeah, man, these blushes are hard to open up. Here it is, and I really love the embossment. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, the texture feels great when I was swatching it. There is the swatch, smooth, beautiful. I really, really enjoyed swatching the blush. There's the back. 18 month shelf life made in Italy. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this on my face. As you can see, I was very, very generous with dipping my brush in there. Um, it was actually a shade that you can definitely build up. You can go overboard, but it takes a lot for you to go overboard with it. And this one has a pearl finish to it. This one is described as a peachy pink with a golden pearl. I definitely um, enjoy the soft like pearliness that you can see on the cheek. I usually don't like shimmer on my blushes, um, but Pat McGrath did a really good job with this one. I actually am enjoying it and don't think it looks bad at all. The shade New Venus I feel is a beautiful shade. As you can see, it really does complement my skin tone pretty well. Um, I definitely really enjoyed putting that blush on. So the next blush we're going to try out and swatch it on the face is Nymphette. Same packaging, it's beautiful. It does have a little bit of texture, so it's not like your typical packaging, at least not the packaging that I have experienced with other products. Um, same packaging and man, I swear. <laughs> These are so hard to open. I don't like that. There is the embossment, absolutely beautiful. I love the shine that you can see on this one. It is very pretty. This one um, was also very soft to the touch for swatching. I did notice some fallout with this one more than the Nude Venus. But now I'm going to apply this with a Morphe brush. It was clean and it's the, bl the brushes that I used were very fluffy. And as you can see, I also went pretty hard on the pan with this one. Like I definitely was not scared. Um, it's also a shade that you can really build up and it's absolutely beautiful. It went on so soft, so smooth. It's definitely a different experience than any of the other blushes that I have tried out. And as you can see, you know, the finish is just absolutely beautiful. That pearl that it has, um, yeah, it's it's gorgeous. This one is described as a soft pink with a golden pearl. Yeah, I um, definitely loved this shade as well. I'm pretty happy with both of the shades that I picked up. I feel that they both complement my skin tone very well. Um, for today, I am wearing the color Nude Venus. And this is the first one that I tried out. I just felt it went well with this eye look. So I decided to put this one on. Now we're going to demo the highlighter. I did end up picking up the Divine Glow highlighter. That's what the packaging looks like. Same as the other one, 18 month shelf life made in Italia or Italy. <laughs> Opens up the same. Like I said, I will not be keeping like the Unicarton. I probably will only keep it for the quad. I, I mean, I'm a collector, but not like that. Unfortunately, the highlighter does have the same little clip that 
the blushes have so i was a little disappointed about that but whatever all right so this is my first time touching it Ooh, okay it feels very soft it definitely feels different than the other highlighter that i have and i'll show you right now in a second there is the swatch absolutely beautiful the other highlighter i have is the divine rose highlighter this is the skin fetish ultra glow highlighter and this one has more of like a moussey texture can you see it um, and the color of course is absolutely different so this one when you like swipe it it feels so much more different than the new one that she just released and there is a swatch of that one so they definitely do look different as of right now this is one of my favorite highlighters that i have been using so we'll see if this one takes that place yeah so let's put it on my face you know now that i'm looking at the swatches they don't look that much different do they um i think this one just has more of like a peachy undertone but they are pretty close i think just the texture is probably the only like complete difference with it i am going to go in with an f35 sigma brush this is a highlighting brush this has become one of my favorite highlighting brushes right now here we go oh that's pretty okay so this one on my actual face it does look a little more icy than the divine rose one because of the tone and that peachy undertone it kind of just melts in my skin and it really just looks beautiful a little more icy than the divine i am going ham just so you guys can really see it so this is not how much highlighter i typically wear <laughs> fyi Okay, so there it is. It's beautiful. It, um, yeah, it's not emphasizing anything. Um, I don't really have any texture right now. So it looks good. It looks nice and icy and wet. Okay, guys, we are almost done. The next thing I'm going to review is the Lip Fetish Divinal Lip Shine. Uh, so this is like a lip balm. This is my first time purchasing a lip balm from Pat McGrath. That's what it looks like. Super pretty. I love that it's pink. I really enjoy that. And this is a little unicarton that it comes in. Um, it does open up the same way that the other components do here it is so it's a very beautiful shade i got it in the shade divine rose 2 and this is mm. oh it feels smooth i love it oh mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i really like that now is it worth 36 dollars <sighs> i don't know all right, so here is the lip balm. It feels super comfortable on the lips. I definitely am really enjoying it. It's my first lip balm from Pat McGrath. So there's, I mean, there's not really much to compare with. <laughs> so yeah, so here is the lip balm. Okay, and the last thing in the collection that I purchased is the Matte Trans Lipstick. And this is in the shade Dream Lover. Same packaging, I'm sure you guys already know <laughs> here it is it is like her normal black little lipstick component that's what the shade looks like it looks absolutely beautiful let me swatch it oh it's a beautiful color i was worried it was going to be too light but it's not it actually looks like a very pretty color i did not bring a lip liner so let me just put this on and hope that it looks okay definitely very smooth i'm enjoying the formula out of all of the lipsticks i don't think i have felt a formula like this so i am definitely enjoying this lipstick this is my first lipstick from pat mcgrath so i figured i would pick it up it retails for 38 dollars and like i said this is in the shade dream lover there it is i think it is a beautiful shade very comfortable it went on smooth okay so let me give you my final thoughts on everything so we are done testing everything 
everything out from the Divine Blush collection. I am so excited. Um, I have just barely started dipping into Pat McGrath. I want to say it's been almost six months since my first Pat McGrath purchase. After that, I absolutely fell in love with it. I decided to start dipping into more luxury brands for my channel. Why don't we start with the quad, which is the very first thing that I put on my face. This quad, I feel, is a very beautiful quad. Um, like I said, this is my first quad of Pat McGrath. Do I feel that you absolutely need to have this? No, of course not. This is a luxury brand. It's a luxury product. If you don't have the $58 to purchase this, I don't think you should purchase it. <laughs> but I will say one good thing. There is four different types of formulas of Pat McGrath here. So if you are barely dipping in to luxury brands and Pat McGrath is one of the brands that you want to dip into and don't feel like, you know, spending for 125 for her bigger palettes and you want to try a quad and feel like that's a little bit less on your pocket then I do feel like this is actually a good palette to start with because it does have four different formulas of the formulas that are in her eyeshadow palettes. The one negative thing I do have to say is the fact that this shade is too dark and you can't really use it as a transition shade. I mean, you can do what I did and on the crease, just kind of do like a light wash of it and then concentrate it where you want the depth in your eye look. But it's still pretty frustrating that this can't be a transition shade just because it's so dark and it's so pigmented. I mean, you can just go into like your bronzer and just use that as a transition shade, but the fact that you have to dip into something else, it's kind of frustrating, or the fact that you have to just do a light wash on your crease in order for you to make this work. But overall, I do feel like the look I came out with is absolutely beautiful. $58 is a lot for a quad and for only four eyeshadows, if you ask me but it is a luxury brand. So it's up to you whether you want to spend the $48 or not. All right, the next thing I'm going to talk about is the blushes. And the two blushes I got are the Nymphette and Nude Venus. I really am enjoying these blushes. I feel that they are so pretty. I haven't had too much experience with luxury brand blushes. The only other blush that I have had experience with that's a luxury brand, it is a Dior blush and I have it right here. I don't even know what shade this is. My sister actually gifted it to me. And just watching it right now, it doesn't even come close to feeling like these blushes from Pat McGrath. There it is. It is definitely a blush that you do have to build up. It also has like small little pearls or sheen in there. I feel like that's a common theme with luxury brand blushes. I feel that they all have some sort of like sheen in them. I know the Charlotte Tilbury in the Look of Love palette the blush in there has like a little small like sparkle in there luckily for me i have been enjoying it and i don't feel that it looks bad so i am totally okay with that as of right now my favorite i'm going to have to say is nude venus that is the one that i'm wearing right now i feel like this one just kind of complements my tone a little bit better and it could be because it's a little more warm tone than nymphette i feel like nymphette is a little more on the cool tone side now are they worth 38 dollars um, I feel like yes, the way it performed, the way it just blended and the way that you can really build them up for me personally, I do feel like they are worth it. All right, the next thing is the highlighter and this is in Golden Nectar. This is only the second highlighter that I own from Pat McGrath, the Divine Rose 2 right here. This is my absolute favorite highlighter right now. As you can tell, I can I have definitely dipped into it. So I have definitely used this. The texture on them is completely different. The new one from this collection is a lot softer to the touch when you swatch it. I definitely feel like it's a little more icy. So even though on the swatches on my hands, they looked almost identical one just had more of a peachy undertone i definitely feel like this one on the actual face and not on the swatch it looks more icy than the divine rose too i'm not sure which one i prefer i have to use 
um, this one a couple of more times so I can make up my mind. But I am enjoying how beautiful it is. And I do feel like it's a very beautiful product. All right, the next thing is the lip balm. Honestly, this is my first lip balm. Um, so there's not really much I can expect. I didn't even swatch it for you guys. There is a color right here. It's a gorgeous color. It is super comfortable to the lips. I definitely enjoyed putting it on my lips and I do feel that it's going to keep my lips super hydrated. Now, is it worth the $36? No, <laughs> but it is Pat McGrath. So if you want a lip balm from Pat McGrath, then yeah, pick it up. All right, now the matte trans lipstick. Um, I definitely do feel like the formula on this lipstick is absolutely beautiful. It is so comfortable on the skin. It doesn't even feel like lipstick. If I'm being honest, it almost feels like a chapstick, like a drier version of a chapstick. It's a very comfortable formula. And the fact that I'm able to wear this shade right now without any lip liner and it still look pretty good, I'm very glad about that. Here's the swatch of the lipstick. Um, I definitely do really enjoy it and I'm glad that I did pick it up. Now, is it worth the $48? Um, no, I don't think so. I think that if I end up picking up any more of her lipsticks, it'll probably be when there's a sale going on. Yeah. Okay, so out of the whole collection and what I tried out, what do I recommend you pick up? For sure, one of the blushes. Now, if you have a limited amount of money and you can only pick up one thing out of the whole collection, I would say for sure pick up the quad. The reason behind that is because you get four different formulas that she has in her eyeshadow palettes. And for me personally, like if I was barely dipping into luxury brands and Pat McGrath, that to me is, you know, a big, huge deal because that means I'm testing out four of her formulas and I'll know whether I am going to try and invest more of my money on her other products but those are just my thoughts all right guys and that is it that is what i think about this pat mcgrath divine blush collection um i'm pretty happy that i was able to pick up what i did from the collection and i was honestly really excited to just try everything out and let you guys know what i think about it you know especially for somebody that's barely dipping into luxury brands and luxury products i'm still not super familiar with all of her formulas and everything that she has to offer but i do feel like this is a good collection for me personally to start with um i do know that it's available at sephora and it's also available on her website all right guys well thank you so much for being here i appreciate you guys more than you know i would love it if you gave this video a big old thumbs up i would greatly appreciate it i would love it if you joined my small youtube family and click the subscribe button i would love to have you i am on the goal of reaching 1000 subscribers by the end of 2021 and I would love it if you could help me out. So please make sure to click the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, I will see you on the next video. Bye.